Hey everyone, welcome to Honors Geometry. My name is Ryan Carell and I have the privilege of teaching your students this semester and I could not be more excited to be back in the classroom um, as much as possible. I realize that we are still doing everything via distance but uh, I love that I get to see your students' faces again and hear their voices and get to interact with them, uh, even though it is in a format that uh, is so foreign to us in so many ways. Um, just in case you're wondering, you see that period five up there. I teach honors geometry uh, periods five, six, and seven. So I have your students in one of those, um, but, but what you're going to be able to see on the Google Classroom here is pretty much the same for all of them. Uh, <clears throat> but one, one of the things that I want to talk about real quick is just the structure of how our class is going to work out this semester um, for as long as we are doing distance or hybrid or any of that kind of thing. Um, so the way that our class is function, functioning primarily is what we call a flipped classroom, where I'm actually pre-recording all the, the notes. So all the lecture notes I'm recording, the students will have a worksheet that they will be able to access, and then video links they will click on and go through. Um, so they'll hear my voice and they'll, they'll see all everything uh, being filled out on the very worksheet that they're following along with. Uh, everything will be through something called Edpuzzle, though they'll access them all from Google Classroom. But what Edpuzzle does is it allows me to uh, insert questions throughout the throughout the video. So the video will pause itself, ask a question, and the students can answer that question. Uh, usually it relates to the actual practice problems that are on the the notes themselves. And then if they, they're getting them right and they understand, they can kind of skip ahead in the video. But if they're getting them wrong, then they watch that next segment of the video and it explains how to do it and all that kind of stuff. So it's it's building in practice and the opportunity for them to, to relearn um, everything that they need. And the nice thing about it being pre-recorded, if there's an internet issue and your your student can't get online, they didn't miss the actual notes of the class. So, and they'll be able to access those throughout the semester and all of that. <clears throat> and then in class, uh, primarily what we'll be doing on the Zoom is is that we're going over, we'll do a warm-up, uh, something that'll help you know, build in some of those skills that we've learned in the past or some sort of a review at the beginning, whether it's reviewing anything that I know is going to be a question or a struggle from the notes or anything that would be pertinent to just what we need to talk about to, to pre-teach or, or to, to support the learning that's already happening. And then we'll go over homework questions. So we'll have that time to answer questions. The students can continue to work on their actual assignment. Uh, and that way that class time can be really focused on making sure that the students are leaving that classroom, having already learned the lesson and now having uh, as close to mastered it as possible by getting to practice it, getting their questions um, answered. And then in whatever time we have left, I I'm trying to set it up so we can be efficient so that the students can, can then begin their next set of notes. Uh, so that would be asynchronous that they would be doing that on their own, pulling up uh, the Google Classroom, pulling up their next video section and, and proceeding through that. So that's the general way that the class is structured. Um, I want to take you now on a tour of, of the Google Classroom so you know when you hear some of these terms what they mean, what these phrases mean. Um, but the main page of the Google Classroom is this one. It's called the stream. And on this main page of the Google Classroom, uh, there's just two main things that for the students. One is our link to actually get into our Zoom meetings. So every day when the students log in, they go, they click on their class through Google Classroom, and then they can click here to access the Zoom meeting with the rest of class. And then over here on the left side is just a reminder of the assignments coming up and what is due. So due today was the 1.10 homework and the 1.10 video notes, and then due tomorrow would be the 1.11 homework and pretty soon will pop up there the 1.11 video notes as well. Um, and then the bulk of everything they're going to interact with is in this classwork tab. So they click on the classwork tab, you can see any announcements that are happening. Uh, Google was having some issues as was Edpuzzle uh, a week or two ago. So I had put up an announcement letting the students know, um, hey, if you're trying to submit something, it's not going to work right now because Google is down. Uh, it happened in the middle of the night, but I have a, a lot of assignments to get turned in there and students concerned as they're hitting deadlines and all of that. So anytime I'm aware of anything, I'll put up an announcement that'll send them a notification. Uh, if you are connected to the Google Classroom as well, uh, then you'll get that notification also. And then we have our assessments tab. So we took a quiz. 
Uh, we use a platform called Book Widgets. Uh, it doesn't really matter what all these other platforms are though because for your student, they open it up, they click on a link, and it takes them straight to their test. Or for our video notes for Unit 1, they click on the link and it will take them straight to their video notes. So it will be downloads of the actual paper documents and then there will be the link so that they um, have the same paper that we're going through in the video. And then they have all their classwork or homework assignments um, or an occasional warm-up assignment here as well. So they would download that, work it out, and then when they're done they will upload it back to uh, back to the classroom and turn it in. So from here, this is kind of what their screen will look like. They would click there, download it, they'd work it out on their screen. Over here on the right corner would be an upload and submit button. So after they've done that, they can scan it with their phone, or if you have a home scanner, you can use that as well. Uh, but some way of getting it back up onto there. We are getting a, another um, technology platform through the district called Cami, which will allow students to uh, annotate straight onto PDFs and then re-upload those same PDFs with their annotations on it. Um, in terms of math, the, the benefit to that is if they have some sort of touch screen, if they, have, if they don't have a touch screen, then it'll be best to still just print off, work it out, and upload it. And if for whatever reason you run out of ink or anything like that, students can always do everything on a separate sheet of paper as long as they are writing down the problem and drawing the diagram and then working everything out. Uh, showing their work and keeping it organized. So they don't have to be able to print out if they are willing to do that instead. Uh, in terms of anything else for the class, if you ever need to get in contact with me, uh, the best way to contact me is via email. Uh, you can find my email and all of your, your students' teachers' emails on the West Ranch website, westranchhighschool.com. If you go to the staff tab, uh, you can click on that and it'll give you the staff directory and then you can search by any any of us by name and it'll give any of our all of our contact information there otherwise um, uh, my email is rcorel at heartdistrict.com now if your student is struggling with anything throughout the semester please encourage them to reach out uh, a lot of them are really comfortable emailing so making sure that they're emailing if they need extra help or support we do have the flex time that is built into our daily schedule and that's after after lunch uh, there's there's a, a hour and a half or so window of time uh, when I can be available to uh, be able to open up another zoom meeting and, and students can join and we can interact that way um, it does need to be pre-scheduled though. Uh, so if they are having issues and they need help or want extra help or support, have them send me an email and we can coordinate a time to be able to do that. Also, I try to, the day before test days, I try to have uh, one of those during flex time as kind of a review session where the students can ask questions from the test reviews as well. Anyways, that is all I have for you. Again, if you need to get in contact with me, send me an email. Uh, I love to interact with you. Uh, and I love interacting with your students. I wish you all the best, and I hope you all have a great semester. Thank you so much.